All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.5, problem number 9. So we have this function f of x is equal to 2 cosine of x plus cosine squared of x. And we want to find the points um, at which the tangent line is horizontal. All right, so let's do that. All right, so uh, as soon as you hear a uh, horizontal tangent line, then we should immediately think that uh, the slope is going to be zero, right? Which means that the uh, derivative is going to be equal to zero, since derivative tells us about the slope of the tangent line, right? So let's take the derivative and set it equal to zero, right? So derivative is going to be f prime of x, which is equal to Right, derivative of 2 cosine of x is negative uh, 2 uh, uh, sine of x. Right? And derivative of cosine squared of x would be uh, put 2 in front, keep the inside function as it is, and then multiply by derivative of the inside function, which is negative sine of x. Right? And then we have to set this guy equal to zero. All right? Then we can, uh, let's see, both of these guys have um, uh, negative two in it. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, divide by negative two. Then you will get uh, just a sine of x from the first term. Then negative two is gone. So you have a cosine of x times sine of x. Right, 0 divided by negative 2 is still 0, so it's equal to 0. All right, then uh, we have sine of x in common, so I'll pull that out. So we have a sine of x is pulled out, and uh, you will have 1 left over from the first term. And uh, you have a cosine of x left over from the second term, so we have to set that equal to 0. All right, so from here, we got the, uh, we can get two equations. Uh, so we can either uh, find x so that the sine of x is equal to 0. All right, or we can make 1 plus cosine of x equal to 0. All right, so let's look at the uh, uh, unit circle. So you have a circle there. All right, and uh, here's the x-axis, and here is the y-axis, all right, and that's the origin, all right. So remember that the sine of x represents the y-coordinate of the point on the circle, on the unit circle, all right. So when sine equal to zero, so y-coordinate equal to zero, so which means that uh, there are two possibilities. Um, so x could be 0, or x could be pi. Or you can add any multiple to pi to that. So which means that um, x could be uh, just uh, any multiple of pi. So any multiple of pi would be sufficient there. All right, from here, uh, x is going to be, actually, before that, we have to make sure that the, this is cosine of x. By subtracting 1, uh, this is equal to negative 1, right? Cosine of x uh, represents the x-coordinate of the point on the unit circle. So x-coordinate is negative 1, uh, which is actually right here, right? So it's right there. All right, so we have basically two possibilities. Um, so you have this is going to be um, either, uh, so x is going to be uh, pi, right, which is here, or any multiple of, uh, you can add any multiple to pi. So add 2n two, two pi, which means that uh, this is just a 2n pi, a uh, plus 1 pi. All right, then uh, so we can uh, just uh, plug it in to find the corresponding y value. So here, if you're looking at the, say, uh, so here, right, x is, uh, say, 0, right? Cosine is going to be 1, and a cosine of 0 is 1. 
So it's going to be 2 times 1 plus 1 squared. So it's a 2 plus 1, so it's going to be 3. So uh, uh, it's going to be, let's see, any multiple of uh, 2 pi. So 2n pi is the x value. Then, then the function value is uh, 3, right? 2 plus 1, so it's 3. Right. Then if you look at the um, uh, negative 1, so when x equals, uh, say, pi, then cosine is negative 1, so you have a negative 2 plus negative 1 squared. So negative 2 plus 1, so it's going to be negative 1. Well, actually, sorry, I, I put that wrong. So this guy has to be a larger y value. So we have uh, 2n pi comma 3 should be up uh, down there. And the other y is uh, pi plus any multiple of that. So it's a 2n plus 1 pi. Then it's a negative 2 plus 1, so it's negative 1. Right? So those are the uh, points where um, the tangent line is horizontal. Right? So let's type it in. All right. So what we got was, uh, let's see, uh, parenthesis 2n plus 1 uh, pi. So we have to find pi. It's a Greek letter. So where is pi? So pi and a comma negative 1. And the other guy is uh, 2n, again Greek letter, pi, then comma, that was 3. Right? So uh, let's check. Uh, submit for testing. All right, uh, it came back and looks like uh, we got the, both of these guys correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.